Good day guys, Austin here, and news flash, news fucking flash. Now, those of you who are on my Facebook page will know that there's been some kind of breakthroughs going on with emulation. And obviously if you're watching this video, you will know that it's the 3DS that is having fucking massive breakthroughs at the moment. Now, those of you in, in the know, which I'm sure is basically probably 99% of all the people that watch my channel um, Citra is the 3DS emulator or it's the one that is you know knocking heads at this moment in time it's the one that really has developed itself from nothing I mean a lot of other emulators have at least some kind of starting platform to I don't know move on from you know take different ideas from other emulators put them all together and usually they come up with like a super emulator however because Citra is so new it's basically the first one to actually I don't know like I said groundbreak in the emulation of the 3DS now when you think about it the 3DS uh, it's basically think about how hard it must be to actually emulate from it basically you've got a 3d screen you know yes I know you can change it into 2d however all the information passed from the game through the actual hardware of the original 3ds was all translated from 3d games so for somebody just to make the game work in the first place is a godsend but for somebody to actually translate the information that is taken from a 3d game into 2d on a pc platform fucking mind-blowing absolutely fucking mind-blowing so hats off to you guys from citra hats off to you now let's actually have a look what's been going on the game itself, the games that they have been running were, I don't know, top of my head, the ones that are normally shown to be emulated, uh, The Legend of Zelda Orcana of Time 3D. That's the one I'm going to be showing you today, because that's the one that I've managed to get running, and to be honest, a very good fucking effort. I'll show you that in a second. However, some of the other ones that are running apparently properly now is in fact almost the entire catalogue. But one, the ones that I've tested myself is uh, Legend of Zelda Arcanian Time, Super Monkey Ball 3D, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, Majora's Mask, and Fire Emblem Awakening. Now, fucking top notch. That's why I'm bringing it to you guys to try and pass on the information and to, you know, get some goodwill going in their direction. Because these guys are fucking, like I said, groundbreaking pioneers in the emulation world. They have taken a non-existent system, and well, obviously it's a system and it does exist, but not in the realms of PC emulation. So let's give them all the support they can. So let's have a th look at what has actually been going on then. Well, the problem was that uh, the emulator itself could only emulate certain games. This was due to the fact that the old interpreter that they were using, interpreter being the, I don't know, the in layman's terms, the software that translated the game itself into what we could see on the screen. Um, the interpreter basically was bottleneck, bottlenecking like fuck. So there was basically far too much information being passed through at one single time and the interpreter was shit at handling all that information. So basically it was, I don't know, too much shit, it was overloaded itself. So when we were looking at it on screen, we were running at like fucking two frames per minute, never mind per second. And so that made it look like you know we weren't emulating or anything because if something's running that slow I mean what it would take you about five minutes just to actually load the title screen so yeah emulation was dog shit so the way they got around that in the past was by using the GLSL I believe it's kind of like the OpenGL version of the emulator now the problem with that was that it was only uh, how can we say um, like a cheat it was only taking one kind of way of interpreting the game or the graphics so what that meant was that it could only be used on a certain amount of games i.e. the ones that I've just mentioned earlier um, or some of them should I say uh, and the problem was that because this was taking 
uh, a different way of emulating the actual visuals from the game, it caused huge graphical errors and in most cases crashes. So I don't know, the best one that was emulated was The Legend of Zelda Arcane of Time 3D. Now anybody that's seen them on YouTube being played you'll see it's fucking the shaders were all wrong, the lighting was all wrong, huge graphical glitches, and this was all because the uh, the GLSL couldn't interpret the actual models, lighting, shades, all that kind of shit properly, so it caused huge glitches. And because some games, well, in fact, almost all the games, apart from those on the list, um, didn't use that kind of uh, structure in the way it was made, they couldn't be played at all. So we were limited to one of two directions. You could play it as intended, uh, two frames per minute, or you could use the workaround and only play a handful of games and all of those being all glitchy and fucked up. However, what's happened now is the guys over at Citra, they've actually managed to develop a new interpreter. Uh, basically, it's called the uh, Vertex Shader JIT. Now what this has done is it's using the actual technology as intended by the 3DS and translating that into our graphics on screen. So not only does this work much better as in you know the way it handles all the information flowing through it much much better um, it's actually showing us how it was intended from the game. So this means that now we can play almost any game from the uh, 3DS as intended. So you're not limited to those few fucking games that were playable. You're now actually opening up the entire catalog. However, there is a caveat to that. The emulator itself still needs work. So there are games that do glitch out. There are still games that do crash and all that kind of stuff. However, it's now not all put onto the actual graphic interpreter data. Fucking hell, I'm even tongue twisting myself again today. It's not all due to the actual graphics, it's now just due to the actual game itself not being emulated properly. But when you think about this, I mean, yeah, six months a year ago there was nothing, nothing at all to even think about with uh, 3DS. And now, we're actually fucking playing the games. I mean, the joypads emulated, uh, you can actually control people. The only issue that's going on at the moment is the speed. Don't get me wrong, this fucking emulator um, is still slow. It is still slow. I think they got it up to about half speed now during the action scenes. Maybe a bit of a drop to a third when things start getting intense. Um, I believe the Super Monkey Ball is almost running full speed. It does in the menus and shit like that. However, when you actually in game, I think it goes down to about half speed. Um, I cannot test properly at this moment in time because I'm still fucking on my laptop, and my laptop has got shit processor, and that's what it's drawing most of its power. As most emulators, you know, when you're running emulators, 99% of the time it's running through your CPU, not your GPU, like PC games. So. Without further ado then, and me waffling on just dog shit for the next fucking 10-15 minutes, let's actually take a look at the game running and get it running yourself. Now, in the description below, you will find a link. The link is to the website Citra. Here you go. Here is the actual website where this emulator is developed. And if you require any more information or, you know, where to go for certain shit and who to ask and to find more information yourself this is your hub basically here you can actually take a look at what's been going on and you can actually have a look at the latest builds now down here for those of you who haven't been on planet earth for the last fucking few years will know that most emulators now they run through a like what they call a github a github is a place where i don't know you can have loads of people uh, working on an emulator or a program and what they do is when they finish their little section of work for the day they will upload it onto what they call the github basically a place which stores all the information for that and somebody sometimes with some emulators 
build all that together and give you what they call the latest build and in this case it's the latest nightly build so all you need to do is click on that it give you a download and then you can play the latest version that's been released for that and in you know for this kind of setup then it's like you get the newest version every 24 hours how awesome is fucking that can't ask for better so get yourself on it and you can get yourself the latest version of the emulator now what i've done also in the description i've given you a version of the emulator and i've given you something to be playing with as well wink wink nudge nudge so in there you can download and you can play it to your heart's content and see how it runs on your system and then <laughs> you know don't get me wrong you're not going to be fucking adding this to hyper spin or to your cabinet and you're not going to be buzzing around and completing the game however it gives you the kind of feel that you're going to be having playing these games and how it's going to be running and to show you in you know how it has developed from nothing to what it is now in six months it's fucking i cannot express enough how groundbreaking this is and how much things can develop from this day forth in fact it's been released for a few days now um, maybe even a week in their world but for us we now have the information that can tell us that all the games from the 3ds can be now emulated to the full extent uh, all you need to do now is obviously speed the game up and you know work out the bugs and niches which are actually in the emulators from causing some of the other games to bug out so here is the emulator all you need to do I can't do it my screen capture software is fucking dog shit again if I run this then basically it's just gonna crash uh, but for you it will work because I'm sure you haven't got a dog shit screen capture software um, all you need to do to make it run is go into file click load file and in one of the folders there as you can see is the Zelda game now you can play any game you want however what you need to do before you play any games is decrypt them now I'm not going to give you that or show you how to do it that's something you have to do on your own and um, there is tools available for doing such a thing However, I'm not going to show you all that kind of shit because, well, I haven't got time for a start. I just want to get this information out today. I've given you shit to be playing with, so there you go. Now, if you are wanting to play around a little more, um, it works better on some people's, works worse on some people's, but this little under emulation, even while the game's running, click on the little tab, use hardware renderer click that or unclick it and it will either speed up or slow down depending on how your uh, computer is working my, my computer is dog shit I'm on my laptop so it runs like dog shit no matter what I do however for you you might have better luck but yeah it's my gift my bountiful gift for you today I just want to you know spread the wealth of the Citra emulator to the world today they really have come on a long way and I'd like to give my thanks to all the guys over there working on such an emulator if there's anything I can ever do for you guys or anything like that give me a shout I'm more than happy to help out in any way that I can and I would hope that the people watching this video would also do the same in turn because it's people like this that actually bring new systems to us to actually play so yeah that's it for today guys that is the citra uh, emulator i've brought it to you i hope you have fun have a play around with it yourself support these guys download and as always subscribe to the channel please subscribe to show your appreciation for what i'm bringing to you uh, share the video as much as you can leave a comment of any emulators that you think would like to be um shown to you how to set up um, and you have a good day I mean today's Friday I'm just about to go and pack up the stuff I'm going away for the weekend and you guys have fun <laughs> I'll catch you later guys bye now